spirited away into vast networks of subsea and subterranean survival arcs. So who will they be? There are the obvious choices such as the military and those with political connections. Their primary role will be to help our government ensure its own continuity. A second goal, and equally urgent, will be the survival of our species. That need demands special survival profiles. Obvious survival profiles will be those of physicians and caregivers. They will become far more important to our governments than the patients they treat. To help us rebuild our world after Planet X passes, we'll need a next generation of intelligent, educated professionals and scientists of healthy breeding age. Most of these will not know they've been chosen until they are taken away from their loved ones. There will not be enough room nor resources to keep both them and their parents and grandparents alive. As painful as the separations will be, those who watch their loved ones being taken away will feel a genuine gladness in their hearts. Meanwhile, those chosen will come to feel the weighty burden of a new and profound responsibility. The brave ones will accept it. For those left to fend for ourselves, it will be panic as usual. In 2012, we'll learn that rigid thinkers become fragile survivors. Quickly overcome by events, they will be amongst the first to surrender to whatever fate has in store. Those who think that the ensuing chaos will afford them the perfect opportunity to create mayhem will be in for a very dramatic surprise. America's military might will be recalled from overseas posts and retasked to the business of maintaining martial law throughout the nation. Those who are accustomed to manipulating the legal system will find themselves in a new kind of system, one in which those who choose to act irresponsibly will be met with immediate and in some cases brutal consequences. It will have to be that way. Many will pack their belongings and whatever supplies they have at hand and flee urban centers. That is, for as long as they can drive before the roads become impassable due to traffic congestion and natural catastrophes. There will be no guarantees for those chosen by their governments to survive, as well as for those left to fend for themselves. But there will be those who are prepared. They will plan their routes to safe havens long before the early signs of crisis become undeniable. Then, when the time comes, they will be prepared and they will know how to act calmly and quickly. As they make their way to safety, they will join with like-minded others and form small survival groups where service to others is the rule and not the exception. They'll understand that surviving Planet X in 2012 is less about what is in your bunker and more about what is in your heart. As Louis Pasteur so aptly put it, chance favors the prepared mind. To help you make the best of your chances, Planet X Forecast and 2012 Survival Guide offers practical strategies and useful how-to information. For those who shall walk this path, it has one singular goal, to help you get through the difficult years ahead. Eventually, Planet X will leave us in peace once again, and the steadfast few who have survived through a philosophy of service to others shall arise from the ruins. They will embrace this new future with humility, compassion, tolerance, and above all, love. For in the fullness of time, they shall bear witness to the marvelous rebirth of our world. And what will that look like?
Gene Roddenberry, the man who created the phenomenally successful Star Trek franchise, got it right the first time. We will have a Star Trek future. But not at first. This is because the first order of business will belong to Mother Earth, the giver of all life. As the volcanic ash and dust settle from our atmosphere and rains wash the land clean, Mother Nature will begin rebuilding the food chain at its most basic level. And from there, life will be restored upwards throughout the entire food chain. Our continents will offer us new farmlands and they will yield a bounty of nourishing new crops. And we'll put them to very good use. In the years beyond Planet X in 2012, we'll rebuild, but slowly at first. Those who survive will want to study the mistakes of the past for the sake of future generations. Of course, there will be the obvious errors. For millennia, humankind has always believed that money was the root of all evil. We know that monetary systems are based on artificial financial schemes that serve the greed of a few by enslaving the many. After Planet X, humanity will say never again. Yet we will rebuild. Not with a monetary system, but rather with a resource-based system that will help us do exactly what Gene Roddenberry envisioned when he first created Star Trek. It was this vision that first energized the entire Star Trek franchise for decades. To simply explain it away as science fiction is illogical. Because the seed of reality is born of fiction. In the words of futurist Jacques Fresco, the founder of the Venus Project, when human beings are free of debt, insecurity, and fear of their neighbors, they become much more amiable. Jacques Fresco was a man who grew up in the misery of the Great Depression and would then devote his entire life to the hope of an egalitarian future where resource-based economies would end human suffering once and for all by bringing out the best of humanity through service to others. Those steadfast souls who survived the coming tribulations of Planet X will realize the greatest hopes of those who have inspired us with their vision of the future, such as Gene Roddenberry and Jacques Fresco. And we're going to need that vision and hope if we are to survive as a species, for the days of Mother Earth are numbered. Knowing that, we will begin colonizing our own solar system in preparation for the most important step in our survival as a species. Using what we have learned, we will leave this solar system to colonize new Earths all throughout the galaxy. In some distant time, our descendants will bid farewell to the birthplace of our species. Like all things, it too must come to an end. When it does, our descendants will mourn its passing as they celebrate our courage. In the difficult years ahead, each of us has to be in it for the species, because 2012 is about evolution. For more information about Planet X in 2012, you can visit Your Own World USA, that's Y-O-W-U-S-A dot com. For Planet X forecast and 2012 survival guide, this is co-author and publisher Marshall Masters thanking you for taking this first step in becoming self-informed about this vital topic.